Hi, everyone. Welcome. It's a lovely afternoon, and I'm glad that you decided to join me. I'm Mrs. Mary, and I'd like to start reading you a story. First, let's start by waving our hands and saying hello. Ready? Everybody wave your hand, wave your hand, wave your hands. Everybody wave your hands. It's time to say hello. Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Mary from the Desmond Fish Library, and I'd like to welcome you to story time from my house to your house. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. I hope that you did something special to celebrate, even though social distancing is in order and washing your hands. And uh, maybe you ate some red, white, and blue food, like strawberries and blueberries and ice cream. Or maybe you wore some red, white, and blue clothing. Maybe you put your flag up in front of your class, in front of your house. Whatever you did, I hope it was a nice one for you. And thank you to all of our soldiers and our troops who are out there keeping us safe. So the book I'm going to read today is about seeds. Have any of you planted any seeds in your garden or maybe in a flower pot or got some plants at the store or from a nursery, a plant nursery, and planted those in your garden? Let's find out about this book, Seeds and More Seeds. It's by Millicent E. Selsom and illustrated by Tommy Ungerer. And it is published, reading this with permission from the publishers, Harper and Row Publishing. So on the cover, we see a picture of a little child watering plants. Let's see how we got there. A seed can grow, plant one and see. You can plant a pebble, it will not grow. You can plant a stone, it will not grow. You can plant a marble, it will not grow. But a seed can grow. A seed is wonderful. It grows. Something comes out of the ground, a little green stem comes out and le little leaves get bigger. A new plant comes out of the seed. Here is Benny. Benny wants to know, can a stone grow? Can a pebble grow? Plant them and see, said his father. Plant them in these pots. If a stone can grow, if a pebble can grow, you will know. Then he planted his stone in one pot. He planted his pebble in another. I will put water in them. If stones and pebbles can grow, said Benny, they will grow in these pots. So there you see his little dog and some of the pots that his dad gave him. Then he found something else. Can a marble grow? He said. He planted it in another pot. If I water it, I will find out if a marble can grow. And then Benny found a round, shiny thing. That is a seed, said his father. Can a seed grow? Said Benny. Then he took another pot. He planted the seed. He put water in the pot. Benny had four pots now. Okay, so he had the one with the pebble, the one with the stone, the one with the marble, and the one with the shiny round seed. Hmm. Benny waited. He looked pretty patient there, just kind of hanging out, waiting. Then one day, 
a little green stem came up in one pot. It did not come out of the pebble. It did not come out of the stone or the marble, but it did come out of that shiny round seed. And then Benny knew that a seed could grow. I think he was pretty excited. Why does a seed grow? Look inside a big seed to find out. Find the baby plant with the tiny leaves and the little part that becomes the root and stem. This baby plant can grow into a big plant. Then he wanted to know why a seed grows. He asked, why is it that nothing will grow from a pebble, a stone, a marble, but something does grow from a seed? What is it? What is there that grows? Open one and see, said his father. And he gave him a big bean. A bean is a seed, he said. Open it and look inside. Then he opened the bean. He found the baby plant inside. I will plant a bean, said Benny. I will water it and then the baby plant in the seed will grow. Then he planted a bean and he watered it every day and the bean grew. It grew and grew and it got bigger and bigger and it grew into a big bean plant. I want more seeds, said Benny. I will plant them in pots and water them and make them grow. First, his father gave him some more seeds. Benny planted. Red beans, white beans, black beans, brown beans, and beans with spots. He's getting a lot of pots filled with plants. The red beans grew, the white and black beans grew, the brown beans grew, the beans with the spots grew, they grew and grew and got bigger and bigger. They grew into big bean plants. They all look like my first bean plant, said Benny. I want something new. That day, Benny's father gave him the seeds of a grapefruit, an orange, and a lemon. He's gonna have quite a variety of things in his little pot garden, isn't he? Benny planted them. He put the grapefruit seeds in one pot, the orange seeds in another, the lemon seeds in another. He put the pictures on the pots. Now when they grow, I'll know which is which. So he colored a little lemon, a little orange, all the different things he planted. and he put labels on the pots. The lemon seeds grew and the grapefruit and the orange, they all grew and had shiny dark green leaves. Without my pictures on the pots, said Benny, I would not be able to tell them apart. I want more seeds to grow, said Benny, more. Then his father gave him lentils from a, from a box of lentils and peas from a box of peas. And Benny grew lentils and pea plants. Then one day, Benny found some seeds himself. He went to get food for his bird. He saw the box. He saw the word seed. He put some bird seed in his hand. These are seeds, cried Benny. What will grow from these?
He took a pot, he planted the seeds. Lots of the plants came out of those seeds. My house is full of seeds, said Benny. And now it is full of plants. You can find seeds outside. Go and look. The wind blows them. The water carries them. The sticky ones stick to your coat, like these seeds here. The dandelion seeds from the dandelion wish balls. Squirrels eat nut seeds and bury some in the ground. There are many kinds of seeds, and every seed grows into that kind of plant it came from. After Benny planted every seed he could find in his house, he said, where can I find more seeds? I want more seeds to grow. Look outside, Benny, said his father. Look in the garden. Look in the park. Look in the street. You will find seeds everywhere. Benny went to look. There he is in the park looking all about to see if he could find any seeds. He walked around the garden once. He walked around again. Where were the seeds? Then he stopped. There in a little pile of mud. Then he found three seeds. One was round and brown. One was round and red and one was round and white. Then he took these seeds inside and put them in a cup. I found some seeds, he called to his father, and his father came to look. I wonder if Benny turned into a gardener when he grew up. You are a good seed hunter, he said. You found three seeds. But here is a seed that found you, Benny, and there was a sticky seed stuck on his coat. That makes four. Benny and his father went to the park one day. Do you think they found some more seeds when they were there? They saw a maple tree. Up in the branches, there were bunches of seeds with thin green wings. Seeds, said Benny. There are seeds all over that tree. I want some. I cannot reach them, said his father. And just then the wind shook the tree and Benny ran over to pick up the seeds that blew out of the tree, which were on the ground. Benny and his father sat down. A squirrel was digging a little hole. It dropped a large brown seed inside and covered up the hole. He is hiding an acorn, said Benny's father. If he does not find it later on, it will grow into a big, do you know what kind of tree an acorn grows? An oak tree. It will make it grow into an oak tree. He dug up the acorn and put it in his pocket. There are lots of acorns near the driveway at the library if you want to try to plant one. On the way home, Benny looked for more seeds. He found some floating in a puddle. He took them home too, and Benny planted the maple seed, the acorn, the seeds he found in the garden in the mud, the red red one, brown one, white one, the sticky seed that stuck to his coat, and the little seeds that were floating in the puddle. Father, he said, when you find a seed outside, you never know what will come of it. It could become a great big tree or a tiny little grass blade. It may even be a daisy. But I saw the maple seeds fall from the maple tree, so I know what they will be and this acorn will become an oak. If I know the plant the seed came from, I will know what it will grow.
Where do the seeds come from? Well, look at a flower, take off the petals, find the green thing in the center called a pistil. And down inside its seeds will grow. When the flower dies, the petals fall off and then the pistil gets bigger and bigger. All the time inside it, tiny little seeds get bigger and bigger until they are ripe. And then they fall to the ground and grow into new plants. Then he found out where seeds come from. And one day he looked at his big bean plant. He saw a flower. He looked at it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and on Thursday, the petals looked dry. And on Friday, the petals fell off. And that was when Benny saw the green thing in the center of the flower. It looked like a little green boat. Benny looked at it every day. It grew bigger and bigger. And then he saw some bumps inside it. As the green thing got bigger and bigger and bigger, the bumps inside got bigger and bigger. And Benny waited. Do you know what they are? He waited until the green thing was as big as he thought it would ever get to be. And then he picked it off the plant, split it open, and those bumps were beans. They are bean seeds, cried Benny. I made my own seeds, I made my own seeds. Now I have more seeds to plant. Yay! And there's the dandelion. And here's Benny again, watering the seeds in his pots. So I thought it might be fun for you to plant a seed. So I got a little pot and I put some dirt in it. And we had some lemons. So I have some lemon seeds. So I'm going to just make a little hole in the middle of the pot. And the thing about seeds is you should put two or three in the hole at once, just in case some of them don't grow. So we have some lemon seeds right here. I don't know if you could see them. They're a little hard to see against the white, but I think you could. And I'm just going to pick up those seeds. I think I'll put in three. One, two, three. I think you might be able to see the three seeds in there. One, two, three. And then I am just going to very, very lightly move the dirt over them. And I'm going to press it down a little bit. Just kind of flatten it out a little. And then I'm going to put some water on it. And I'm going to watch it. And I hope that maybe you could do that. Maybe you have an orange or a lemon or a grapefruit or maybe you bought some seeds from the store to plant in your big garden. And maybe you just want to try putting them into um, a little pot or a cup with some dirt in and 
putting a little hole in the middle and then putting the seeds in and very gently covering them over and pressing down and then watering them. And perhaps together we could watch our seeds grow. And just in case I decide to plant something else in a little pot, um, I mean, if you have the packet of seeds that they came in, you can just put that with the, um, you could just put that with the pot. But if you don't, you can just draw a little picture and color it in. And you can write the word lemon or whatever it is. Yeah, you can write that on there and just cut this out and tape it on your pot. Or if you don't know how to spell it, you can maybe ask your mom. And then you can tape it to the pot or you could put, a, you could cut it and put a little stick behind it and tape the paper to the stick and stick that into your pot. And then if you have, a few more, more than one pot, you'll be able to say, oh, that's the lemon in that pot. That's how I know. Because when the seed starts sprouting, when the little green starts to come up, it's very hard to tell what they are. They all have a green stem and a green leaf. So it's hard to tell. But um, I hope that you will do that. And I'll try to remember next week to see if anything came in the pot and show you and um you can be looking at yours and seeing if it grows now i don't think anything will grow tomorrow but in a few days or by next week something may just sprout and it's exciting to watch it grow just like it's exciting for your parents to watch you grow you don't see yourself grow every day but as weeks go by and months and it's another school year or it's another birthday, every day you're growing and it's exciting to watch you. We love you and we're proud of you. And we miss seeing you at the library. We really do. But I hope soon we'll be able to open up and be uh, with each other and see each other. But in the meantime, let's not forget Everybody wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Everybody wash your hands and don't touch your face. I hope that you had a good story time with me. I enjoyed reading you that story and I think that your plants are going to be exciting. So I look forward to hearing about them, maybe seeing them, and I'll keep you posted on how mine does. All right, and right now we're going to wrap it up, and so let's sing the goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Hey ho, the Mario! It's time to say goodbye. I'm glad you got to listen to some stories with me. So from my house to your house, I wish you a great week. See you next week, everyone. Bye bye.